Before we get started, let's introduce you to the route. Leg one involved driving to Moffat and then on to Edinburgh and staying a night outside the city. Leg two involved driving to the base of the snow roads why I spent a night so I could begin my journey over the mountains on a fresh new day. Leg three involved traveling along the old military road known as the snow roads over the Cairngorms and around the mountains to Aviemore where I stayed for four nights at Glenmore Forest Park on the glorious shores of Loch Morwick. Leg four took me to Glen Nevis where I spent three nights in the shadow of Ben Nevis. Leg five took me down the western coastal route until I deviated to Loch Lomond which was the final destination before heading home. We start this video as I drive through Moffat, the official start and end point of Route 666 Scott, and I joined the A708, not knowing what to expect of this route. The A708 itself between Moffat and the Nature Reserve rapidly turns into a two-lane road that cuts through a glorious valley, offering a mixture of easy driving and gorgeous views thus getting a green, interesting rating on the officially endorsed Ian Van Tour road rating system. Driving through Moffat I noticed a tourist sign for Grey Mare's Tail Nature Reserve which I decided to stop at. So let's get something straight, I am on the A708. This is the leg from my home to Edinburgh via Moffat which is the start of the route. I did not expect this. They're not joking for this route, I tell you. This is almost Canada worthy. Imagine if this was, if this was covered in snow. Absolutely amazing. Also, I've come up on Gray's Mare's Tail Nature Reserve. Didn't know it even was here. I just noticed the brown sign as I drove through Moffat and I thought if I see that, I'm gonna stop. It looks like an amazing walk up, up that valley. I tell you, if this is what I'm gonna see, and these are the surprises I'm going to get, spontaneous, not planned. This trip's going to be epic. I think it leads to a waterfall. Then I think you can go on to some sort of lake, uh, lock, or whatever the correct word for it is, I said. Didn't even know I was going to stop here. <laughs> so let's see how far we go. Uh, I've got plenty of time before I need to be in Edinburgh, so I'm in no rush, as long as the weather doesn't let me down. But, it looks amazing, I mean... Wow, it's nice blue skies, but actually, this would be served better by just a little tinge of mist and stuff. Absolutely brilliant. So, I don't really know where that goes. Uh, I think that looks more interesting, right? Let's do that. Did a quick check of the internet. I thought, don't just go wandering off because it's the first path you see. So it seems there is a waterfall, but I think it's uh, over the bridge. <laughs> so God knows where that goes. <laughs> Seems like we're going to see some animals, which is good. Okay, let me deal with this uphill section. It goes around the edge. Damned impressive though. <laughs> Damned impressive. So when I come back down, that is the road I'm following. Off along there. Okay, first mistake of the trip. I wasn't expecting to stop here. It's a total surprise that it even exists. Um, so I hadn't eaten on the morning. I thought I'll just eat when I get to Edinburgh. So I'm now I'm trying to climb up this on an empty stomach. Don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm literally feeling ill. That's what I get for not eating breakfast.
that is pretty amazing okay so i am coming down <laughs> so lesson learned have something to eat on the morning because you never know what surprises might come along and what you may end up doing two reassess how fit i am because even without having my breakfast that took a bit more out of me there that took a bit more out of me than i was expecting <laughs> so i'm back at the van so go through moffat come out on the a708 and about 10 miles along the road you hit Grays mare's tail nature's reserve there's about five kilometer hike up to a lock high up uh, the waterfall is much closer but don't do what I did, so you get these cars, right? <laughs> Which are a nightmare for vans because they come speeding around the corner and the road's an arrow. But anyway, Grey's Mare's Tail Nature Reserve. Just come prepared and have your breakfast first. <laughs> Having discovered how badly the pandemic had played with my fitness at the Nature Reserve, I set off again along the A708, recognised as one of the UK's best driving routes. The road continued to weave through a number of valleys affording long straight segments and enough elevations and gentle curves to keep things interesting. Eventually the road hugs St Mary's Lock before continuing on to Selkirk. This road is epic, A708, uh, that's what you want to go on, <laughs> absolutely brilliant, um, just wow. I mean. I wasn't going to reach Selkirk. My route took me onto the B709, a mixture of a two-lane and single-track road that would weave through the countryside and would involve passing cyclists, waiting for sheep and using passing places to eventually get to Innerleithen to join the A72 and then A7 to Edinburgh. So I've made it to Edinburgh Caravan and Motorhome site. Uh, pretty standard sort of site. It's I'm only staying here at night. Uh, leg one complete though before I move on to leg two, which gets me to the base of the snow roads. Yeah, um, the drive up, very nice. It's nice all the way up, but portions of it are nice in that typical A road through the Scottish sort of rolling hills sort of way, which are gorgeous if you've not experienced them before. But since I used to drive from home to Aberdeen on a regular basis at one point, I'm used to those. But that A708 road, one of the best roads I've driven on. Yes, yeah, so I've come up with a rating for all the roads I'm driving on. Easy, interesting, tense and scary. <laughs> all the roads were easy. The A708 was interesting and there was a short B road I was on, which was tense. <laughs> But no scary ones as of yet, so I'm just going for something to eat. I I don't know, there's a Toby Carvery about 30 minutes away, so I'm just walking there. I mean, that's nothing amazing or special, but I just fancy uh, doing that uh, rather than cooking in the van today. So I have brought stuff to cook this time, first time ever. Usually I bring just packed food that I can eat out the, out the storage, but of course, you have to be a bit more enterprising when you're away for so long. But yeah, Toby it is. So I am near the coast. And yeah, uh, a sort of boardwalk area, but of course the showers came down as I approached Edinburgh. <laughs> 